Have you ever been to Alora? Or do you even know where it is? I'm Miguel. And I'm Natalie. And this is Click Spain Tours. Stay with us and let us show you Alora. The good thing is that you don't need a car to come to Alara, but you can take the train from Malaga city centre, the C2 line. Ok then, let's start exploring. Alora is found in the heart of Malaga province, in the Valle del Guadalhorce, around 40 kilometers away from the city center of Malaga. This area has been populated by Iberians, Romans, Moors and Christians, and one of its historical monuments is the spectacular Moorish castle. Alora Castle lies on the natural lookout point of the Cerro de las Torres, which offers a splendid panoramic view of its surroundings. The present castle that stands today dates back to the 10th century, from the time of the Moors. From this period in the Middle Ages, there still remains the Torre de la Vela, the Horseshoe Arch, which is quite unique to the region, and the Torre del Homenaje. Within the castle walls, you will be able to admire the remains of the first parish church of Alora in Gothic style, which was built upon what used to be the main Moorish mosque. This parish church was built after the reconquest of Alora by the Christians in the late 15th century. What remains of it today, due to an earthquake that took place in 1680, it's its main altar with a cross vault ceiling and the columns that sustain it. After the villagers stopped gathering in this church, the castle grounds were used as a village cemetery for over 200 years, up until quite recently.
Hey, guess what? Exactly. We have stopped for some lunch. Well, that was delicious. Now let's carry on. Due to the expansion of the population here in Aloda, a new parish church needed building. So this one that we are going to see now was built in the 17th century and it's part of the historic monuments of Aloda. So let's go and check it out. The construction of Nuestra Señora de la Encarnación Parish Church took nearly a century for it to be completed, between 1600 and 1699. It is one of the largest churches in the Diocese of Malaga, after the city's cathedral. The wood used for the ceiling of the church was brought from Flanders, Belgium. The church has frescoes on its walls from the 18th century that represent the Twelve Apostles. Its impressive size gives justice to the length of time it took for it to be built. The Municipal Museum Rafael Leria is a beautiful building from the 16th century, which is annexed to Alras Parish Church. It is a great place to know more about the historical and archaeological heritage of the town, as well as to see an important collection of old coins and bills. Located not too far from the Plaza Fuente Arriba is the Iglesia de la Veracruz, a small chapel constructed in the 16th century. Since its construction, it has undergone many alterations. 
It was built to commemorate the victory over the Moors at the reconquest of Alora by the Christians. We hope you've enjoyed exploring Alora with us. We recommend you come and visit this whitewashed village with a lot of history. And don't forget you can make use of the train when you come here. If you still haven't subscribed to our channel, you can press on the red button and on the bell. This way you'll be notified when we post a new video. Take care and until next time, hasta la próxima.